If you want to improve the quality of your water, if you want to reduce stormwater runoff, trees are the best and cheapest answer. Trees provide so many great benefits, and one of the most important ones being shade and helping neighborhoods be more comfortable and more livable. And if we're not investing in our urban tree canopy, you know, equitably across the city, then not everyone is going to be able to, you know, enjoy the benefits that the trees provide. There are quite a few considerations for planting trees uh, in the city. There are lists of trees for different locations and, and helping our people learn how to choose trees and plant them is something really important. So I work in the sustainability office at VCU and we have a community forestry program there. And I would always kind of had my eye on this site just as a great kind of blank canvas to plant some trees. And it was mostly all mowed grass before we started working here. Part of what we're trying to do with the tree planting project is to establish spaces where the students can come outside and interact with the trees and the other things that we're planting and just to be able to have a closer experience with nature as part of their education. I'm here to plant some trees at the Hickory Hill Community Center as part of Southside Relief and the Chesapeake Bay Foundation's Greening Southside project. We're planting 100 trees today of different species to help provide shade. Of course, it's going to lower the temperature and it's going to help reduce some of that runoff. We're putting life back into a place where they say it has no life. So here we are. We have a lot of urban heat islands. For those who don't know what an urban heat island is, it's just really, really hot in areas where there's less canopy coverage, where there's more impervious surfaces. It's driven by the actual underlying land use, like what's underneath your feet. Is it uh, hard, dark surfaces, or is it kind of more natural green space? And so it's the balance between that kind of human-built surfaces and the, the natural environment that gives rise to these big differences. All of this work surrounding expanding access to green space and expanding tree canopy came out of a project that we did in summer of 2017 where basically volunteer scientists all went out during a heat wave and measured the city's temperature. And it was about 16 degree Fahrenheit difference between the coolest and warmest place at the exact same moment. Uh, and largely that difference was attributable to the nearby tree canopy. The grassroots focus on urban forestry has been so successful in Richmond because now we have this very actionable data set that shows just how serious the disparity is in not only the green space access but a climate stressor like extreme heat. But then also our leadership have started to recognize the importance of truly funding the community to do the, the, the work in their own community. No two communities are exactly alike, and I found that a lot of these community organizations have a very specific focus area, and that is great because it gives the opportunity to really build deep connections and relationships with people who live in those neighborhoods, and you can really tailor the project to the needs of each individual community. For us, we want folks who look like us. We want folks who've never been to a tree planting before. We want to make sure that the people who live in these communities actually know, like, you have a voice. Let's make sure that we're not just putting trees in the ground and saying that we're doing a good job. We're greening these spaces for the long term. And so I think if we really care about our neighbors and care about the quality of life that everyone enjoys in the city, then caring about our trees is a really important part of that. It's so many different ways to support these endeavors. It might not be with a shovel, um, but you can find a way to support. You get a really good feeling when you do this work. Like You know that you've done something that's going to last for generations and generations. We know that this will be around for longer than we're alive, and we need to care for it while we're here. So um, I'm just excited to be a part of it.